and congratulations. Is that the best spell you've ever bowled? Uh, yeah, probably the most significant spell I've ever bowled. Um, yeah, it's, it's still pretty hard to put into words. Um, we hung in there and hung in there long enough to, to come out on top. They, they were three for 190. What was going through your head when, when Heather threw you the ball and they only needed 30 runs to win the World Cup? Uh, well, A, we need a wicket. Um, but you know, World Cup final, if you can get, if you can get a breakthrough, the pressure, the pressure on the new batters coming in, um, under that much pressure, that much noise, you know if you can get one, there's a chance you'll get two or three pretty quickly and then suddenly the pressure's, the pressure's all on them. So uh, <laughs> we did a job and we, we came out on top. Can you sort of say as vice captain, I want the ball in my hand right now to Heather? Uh, look, I, I'm always somebody who wants the ball. Um, I want to to be able to make a difference um, to the team. Uh, I think Heather, she said, I think she was about to take me off. Um, so, so thankfully I've managed to sneak a wicket in that convinced her to keep me on. Uh, but again, it, that was another performance that showed just the kind of fighting character we've got in this team. People dream about World Cup finals. Did you ever dare to dream that you might take six wickets to win a World Cup final at Lords? <laughs> Absolutely not. Um, yeah, I'm still, I'm still pretty speechless about it, if, I, if I'm being honest. Um, you just want to help the team. The most important thing is that the team wins and you just want to help in whatever way you can. And um, Everyone has chipped in throughout this tournament um, to kind of get us to this point and today it was potentially just my turn.